Here are two cool ways in which you can look at the opening moment of the second kata. You can look at this in a sport point of view like a parry and an overhook kind of a punch. Or you can look at this like a self-defense kind of an exercise or a flow drill from a situation close enough where you can land an elbow. When we talk about the bunge of kata, there are uh, different kind of uh, approach. We are approaching in, uh, in traditional way of uh, coloring. We are approaching in the form of uh, Ashumoka Prayoga, right? So what is the aspects, uh, what is the technique uh, included in this? We can discuss that, okay? Yeah, so uh, what is that, okay? Yeah. Option one, you can look at this as an entry after the parry. So it's like a straight punch. Yep, uh, it's of course not going to be this convenient, but yep. Trying to go out and a straight or an overhook punch. When you are entering in that direction, usually it's said to be better if you turn your wrist all around because this is not a safe way of landing and injury is there. So this is a more solid structure. So the punch usually comes like this. So overhook kind of a punch after the parry. This is option number one. Option number two, when we are looking at this in more of a traditional grappling come striking kind of a point of view. A more convenient situation for this, of course, is not ready like a fight. So this is more of something and of course, the grip is not yet established. I'm not waiting for this to happen. So again, yep, opening and then moving into the elbow. This can be after opening like a push into the elbow when you come into the stance or right away like an elbow strike. Because every time my priority doesn't have to be to get rid of the grip or to control the limb, sometimes I can go for striking, which of course uh, the other options like uh, a punching or something like that might be more easy for you, but this is cool. Also it would be uh, better if we tell them that it's not going to be this convenient and for the sake of convenience to show the technique, we are doing in a very standing, stable, cooperative mode. Uh, the neck holding is like this and I am like, uh-huh. It doesn't work like that. If somebody has decided to get hold on you, it's most probably for control and for attacking. So movement is involved, aggression is involved. So make sure you understand these aspects work better. Or if I may, they work only when you work or when you move, when you start executing the technique before the grip is established. So I'm not going to wait for come on George and because most probably he has to stay in the frame we are making a YouTube video otherwise he would definitely go for some kind of a better pressure tactic I'm off balance I'm going inside he might use that leverage also with the with the glow yep. yeah. Yeah. yeah so do not wait for this to happen and also don't get misled because most of the demonstrations videos are made using a camera we have to stay in this frame that is why not a lot of movement and things are happening for controlling situation when that kind of complications are involved you need more training you need training in most probably other aspects not only striking sometimes grappling also to understand how to get in and out of that pressure right yeah the most important thing is you should uh, do attack before you are attacked. Yep. As a form of defense also, this is defensive offense. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. 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 So, hit the like button, subscribe and press the bell icon. Also, Kalari Dharti link is in description. Sendo Jitsu app, get access to exclusive video modules, courses and much more. Check out our merch designs on Kadak Merch. Link is in description. Links are in description. Neela Neela link. Neela Neela Ambar Par Chandi Jab. Uh, Galato. Chodo.